Locally, two and a half million honeybees arrived in Missoula today. Beekeepers across western Montana were buzzing with excitement as they picked up their new pollinators. The drone of bees that arrived from California were music to beekeepers' ears as they anxiously awaited transport to their new insect uh, homes back at their various ranches and farms. Katie Miller was there today for the big delivery. A truckload full of bees made their way into the hands of local beekeepers on Friday. Western Bee in Polson orders millions of bees from warmer states this time of year. Then, they deliver a portion of those to Missoula. About 100 local beekeepers met at Fort Missoula to pick them up. University of Montana research professor Jerry Bromenshank says Western Bee is one of the biggest manufacturers of beehives in the country. It's much more convenient and probably safer not to have everybody in the Bitterroot in Missoula driving the Polson to get their colony. So we brought back 176 packages today. That's about 2.5 million bees. Broman Schenk also says bee enthusiasts do it because they love it. A former dean said to me that he thought when I retired that I would go off and disappear and do what I've always wanted to do. And after a couple of years, he realized that I've always been doing what I wanted to do. He says the online beekeeping class has become very popular. The director of online studies, Maricel Lawrence, is a third generation beekeeper. One of my favorite parts of uh, Growing up in Argentina was my dad just waking me up early in the morning during the summertime uh, and just going to the farm and working with him. Researchers recently discovered that bees actually talk to each other and even have regional accents. That's not what we normally would have expected. And when you suddenly see that, then if you're curious like we are, and those of us are, uh, that are really involved with it, you, you keep coming each day to see what new thing can you learn. Broman Shank is partially retired, but he says discoveries like that are what keep him in the field. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News. Who counts all those bees anyway? Are we sure we got 2.5 million? The program at UM trains bees to locate landmines. In fact, they have a brand new app that's going to map out the health of the colony simply by recording a 30-second sound bite of that hive.